So we've got Gabriel in this one. I say what's unique about his style is the amount of smoothness before and after. Just really, really smoothing that out. We're going to have to really, really, really smooth it out. And what I mean is like those blacks are lifted, those whites are dimmed down a bit. And if we look at every single image, you can see it's extremely smooth from blacks all the way to the highlights. And I really like that those high dynamic range photos where it just goes really smooth from shadows all the way to the brights and it looks really really nice. So we are going to be using his one of his presets for this tutorial and we are working with this shot right here. So he's sent this into us. So we are going to recreate the edit and everyone inside of the course has access to the raw image so you can follow along get the same results as we're doing here and also for this image i'm using his presets makes it easier to get his style linking these up down below as well you get 10 high quality desktop mobile presets for the master collection they'll be linked up in the description and then i'll also link up his video luts as well if you're interested in those all right all right so here's his image from his instagram the edit and then we have the raw image that we're gonna recreate the edit with straight off you can see like we don't need to do all that much and the key things are going to be like that fade and the tones definitely so we want this nice warmth throughout the image so let's just jump into it what we need to do is enable profile corrections get rid of that vignette straight away we're going to have to like do something like that to the greens we're going to come in with some filters up the top left and top bottom right so this may not look like the right thing to do but i'm going to drop the highlights and the whites and that's very common throughout his feed okay so blacks now i'm going to turn on the curves this is what gives the the fade in that to the image so we need to drop the contrast because the curves add in quite a bit of contrast as you can see real strong fade there to the shadows it's bright in the shadows a bit brighter so we want that softness to the image again soft glow so clarity can really affect the glow i would say to the image and then you can get a lot of that texture back by upping the texture that you lost from i don't know it's just a different way to get a soft but yet crunchy sort of style to your images drop the whites down a bit um overall cool it down all right so we're going to warm things up in the split turning so in the shadows we need some warmth right and then and then we're going to jump up to hsl and this was what we're going to do the rest of our colors with so we need to desaturate our greens let's bring it out let's make these greens or yellows more warm let's drop the luminance pop possibly the filters here so we can so we can expose our image and have a better idea of our colors so up top big glow from the side and we'll warm it up a lot just so there's this warm hit of color coming from the left highlights cool and then we're going to do something similar down the bottom here so we're just going to drop the exposure so it's framing the subject bit better in the foreground we'll jump to split turning again we'll go highlights and we'll just put a little bit of blue in the highlights just a touch so it's up just a little bit there so we want to maybe bring down the saturation of some of these oranges new reds no real reds in there just bring it down roughly in line with its similar colors blue come down for sure purple this is actually quite a few purples in this let's bring them down Make the blues pop a bit and up the purples yeah for the shine luminance is the brightness of colors so as for sharpening we sort of get the texture and the grittiness from up in the texture and clarity so here we will just drop the sharpening overall we just need more vignetting so let's hit this um, let's not affect our highlights by sliding this up just drag it in feather it out of it right so here is uh before and after so before and after just really really smoothing that out and then the colors 
uh, great as well. Okay, okay. I think there could be some cleaning up to do, like taking out that bucket and stuff, but um, I think it's good. As I always say, the free training, go sign up to that because you'll learn color and the curves, which is just the, it's the foundation you need to be able to even follow these YouTube tutorials if you ever want to get to an advanced level of editing. This is the core stuff everyone needs to know that no one is actually teaching online. So that's what you need to know. And then once you get the handle of the curves and color, you'll probably be ready to jump into the course. So come over to martinstrader.com and you can read all the testimonials of people that were quite frustrated with the reasons why behind their adjustments they don't know why they're moving things and that's what we break down in the course it's very easy to follow lessons because you get the preset you get the raw image and then you get the lesson to go along with it and it makes it very easy and the quickest way to learn by far and we cover so many different styles the difference between styles and you just get a really good knowledge of color in editing so you can eventually create your own style